it comes down to the point where she needs to get to the to to Disney class, which involves a flight. You've booked the tickets. You then get to the travel agent in Rathgar, was it? Yeah. You get to the travel agent in Rathgar to pick up the tickets. Yeah. Who was going to be flying? The, the you myself, and... Bernadette, Bernadette's nephew. Right. You go and collect the tickets. Yeah. And what happens at the news agent? Um, I went in. Travel agent, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I went in, and the girl who I had been dealing with initially wasn't there. There was a different lady there, and she just said casually to me. Um, the girl in question, Caroline, will be back in about 10 minutes. Could you take a seat? So I said, no problem, thought nothing of it. And my daughter, Dawn, rang and I stepped outside for a few minutes to take that call. And within two or three minutes, there was a guard standing on either side of me. I got tapped on the shoulder and I turned around, there was a guard standing there. And I panicked. I knew. I knew for some reason. Anyway, they just said to me, are you Gail or work? And it was obvious why they were there. They were there to obviously ask questions and find out what was going on. What did they want to know? Uh, they, to, they brought me to Rat, Ratmines Garda Station, they just wanted to know. Um, they basically told me that what we were doing was breaking the law. And what I was doing was assisting in a suicide and punishable by up to 14 years in prison, which I wasn't aware of. And they told me to cancel all plans from that point on. You said that you, you felt a moment of panic when the guards panic, came. Yeah, well, why, of why, just because of the presence of these two well, guards? Well, I suppose it just dawned on me that maybe there was something wrong. That why were the guards there? Why would they know my name and why would they have been there? It just, Caroline wasn't there, the guards were there and I'm not stupid, and I just panicked. I panicked because I genuinely thought, right, there's something up here. Was there something, as the story uh, unfolded at the back of your mind, that, that, that maybe it, there, this was a problem? No, because... No, so no. You, were, you were an innocent abroad, No, if genuinely, you like. it's, it's, in Switzerland it's legal, so it's a legal act in a, legal, a country where it's legal. So I couldn't see how I could be in any trouble. And yet the law clearly says that you were. Yeah, in hindsight I, I realised that, but at the time, no.